Hello, Billy Rubin. Hello. I'm Jason Hampton Taylor from Haddington Dynamics, and I'm here. We're here at Bris Vegas Comics having a chat about our wonderful robot, Dexter HDI. And we're going to show you how to program this with no computer attached. We're going to use what we call our FUI, Physical Human User Interface. So, what we do with this, we've got 16 memory positions on the Dexter, and I'm going to just choose one. And then from that position, I can put it into our FUI mode. It's going to just recalibrate, give me a little nod, and now it's ready to program. So, without touching that bit, I will now be able to program the Dexter by touch, by feel. So it's going to say hello to Billy. Hello, Billy. <laughs> and everything I am doing, every gesture, every sweep is being recorded. And that's being recorded onto this FPGA chip here, which is an incredible capacity. Now that's a bit fat, and we're gonna try and pick that up and wave it around and do all these motions which are all being captured onto the memory of it's so Dexter brilliant. itself. It, it yeah. is, and, the, and this is just the, the teach sort of mode. So now, I'm not sure if that's gonna pick it up, but we're gonna have to see. Uh, because that was right to the extent of this end effector. Uh, and we can make other end effectors if we, that was what we were going to do. So from this position, once I've finished my little program, all of the stuff, I just simply turn it back to 20 degrees on the main straight there. And now, now it's going to retreat back into its position. And now it should just repeat all those motions that I just did um, over and over again. That is so cool. So that's it. We just programmed Dexter. Programmed a robot. Yeah, Just so like there that. we go. So there so it is, cool. all the little happy hello. Again. hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the hello. That's yeah. The hello. Now, now this oh, Dexter so is what we call our unskinned, nude version, if you like. Um, it's basically exposed here. But one of the projects that Billy hopefully is going to help me with is actually creating some jackets of, for these. So. Oh, oh my gosh. Yep, it did it, really? sort of. <laughs> it, it's, so close. It was, it's, it's, a it's, little it's a little wide. bit thick for that one. Um, yeah. Maybe some, something else we can... Maybe, maybe something else. Can I try this one? Maybe, no. I'll maybe program it for something else. But, right. but there you get the idea. This is what Dexter does. That is so cool. All right. So we could give it a paintbrush and it could mimic some movements that Absolutely. we did. Absolutely. Um, pick and place. We can actually now mount a camera on this yeah. with, a, with a gimbal to give like smooth product uh, shots or awesome. remote access uh, via the internet for people to be able to control cameras in some place. Yeah. Um, there's all sorts of things we can do with this. Um, we're looking at obviously uh, operating TIG welders. We're also looking at um, food service. So actually being able to uh, make frozen yogurt sort of toppings included into a little package, make coffee, uh, anything you could imagine um, to be automated is possible with this general purpose. Cobot, collaborative robot is what Dexter is. So, so there we go. We're going to just let it, let it go around. Now, to stop Dexter, because it is a cobot. So cobots basically generally have uh, additional sensors. So they do like sort of intersect with a person or, or touch someone like that. Then they, then they go into a home, home position. Now, normally all the other robots in the world would have to use additional sensors to do that. Our robot does that um, intuitively via the encoder disks. So now the encoder disks have such a precision that we can use reverse kinematics, talk um, with precision out of this to be able to determine if it's touched something. It's actually got feeling, it's got touch. It's the first robot to have that natively. So it always knows where it is. It doesn't need to home. It's Absol like that's doesn't what the encoders do. Yeah, Absolutely. Cool. That's awesome. Um, and, and one of these encoders has actually 1.6 million um, positions it actually is able to monitor per revolution. And that goes up the thing. Incredible. So, and that's all because of the FPGA chip. So this is like a, a thousand times more powerful than a standard Raspberry Pi. Um, and they're notoriously difficult to program, but we actually have our own language. So Kent Gilson, who designed this program, he actually wrote a language called Viva, 
to program FPGA. So once wow. again, that's what we do. Now this FPGA is controlling all the seven axes here uh, in parallel, but it's only using about 20% of its capacity. So it could potentially have a lot more things. Most importantly, vision systems. We can process about a thousand frames a second on top of all these axes. Wow to be able to incorporate vision systems in, yeah. and we have worked on that. That we, would be incredible. Then you can do all kinds of things. You could take prints off beds. Well, absolutely. <laughs> Object around. detection, yeah. um, or clash detection. Um, and then you can do something with it because you have an arm that can actually function. So it's yeah. not just seeing something, it's yeah. doing something with it. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's, it's pretty special. And obviously, and that's probably why, well, that is why Billy <laughs> is here because um, it's 3D printed. Yes. And, and it's beautiful. And Billy is uh, the 3D printing queen of Brisbane, definitely. Um, so that's why you're here, so by royal engagement. Oh, God. Um, so, get, yeah. Get a crown on my head. Yeah, I, yeah we'll get <laughs> we Dexter to do that yeah. later on. It can knight me. A tiara. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, so that's beautiful. Dexter at Bris Vegas Comics. Yeah. Um, and kindly hosted here by the, by the lovely staff at Bris Vegas Comics. Come down here for your gaming needs. <laughs> it's a pretty spectacular place in Fortitude Valley, Bris Vegas. Right, and right um, the world. Absolutely. So, you know, and also, I should mention, location. this is actually now represents the first Aussie built Dexter. So, it's a big announcement that we have now that Dexter, we've opened the first micro factory outside the US in Australia. That is so cool. And not only Australia, it's actually in a regional area, it's in Toowoomba, of all places. Toowoomba. Fantastic Toowoomba. That is um, awesome. So from now on, you want a Dexter robot, you can buy them here. There's no import duty. This is the only commercially available robot made in Australia. So exciting. Isn't that good? Beautiful robot. Excellent. Just gorgeous. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> See you again. <laughs>